name is Kathy, and today I'll be continuing the discussion on Bach flower essence and their practical use, continuing with their use on ailments. Today we'll look at the ailments that this es these essences can help with starting with the letter D, part two ailments. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to create several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Distraction. When we're distracted, we're unable to devote our hearts and souls to a situation, a thought, or an activity. We can't think things through thoroughly, and we are never totally content. When we're distracted because of inattentiveness, use chestnut bud. When we're distracted because of indecisiveness, use sloranthus. When we're distracted from our own goals, use walnut. When we are distracted because of an interest in too many possibilities, use wild oat. Do-gooder. A do-gooder is a person that feels an excessive need to improve the world. They believe that they alone possess the truth or that they are better than other people. When, when looked at in absolute terms, this is mere foolishness. We are all part of a greater whole. A part that cannot change or improve the whole by itself. We can fulfill only our allotted function. Subjectively, however, we must behave in a way that seems right to us. When things don't seem right, we must change them appropriately, and this is how we each fulfill our mission to change the world. As long as the result is positive for us and for the rest of the world, this is all well and good. But as soon as our actions cause suffering, some kind of adjustment is necessary. Not an adjustment with the world, but with ourselves. When we feel the need to be a do-gooder due to self-abuse, use rock water. When we feel the need to be a do-gooder caused by dogmatic convictions, use vine. Dogmatism. A dogma is an idea that is put forth as a general guideline that should be followed by everyone. It exercises a strong and even seductive compulsion that removes some of life's diversity, variety, and complexity, and saves us the hard work of finding our own truth. It has the effect of putting on blinders. Blindly accepting a dogma is often easier than finding our way unprotected through the confusing complexities that reality offers us. The advantage, when seen from a perspective of personal development, becomes a disadvantage because it results in a diminution of personal responsibility and our ability to have autonomous feelings and an independent life. Dogmas are often the result of a mental or a psychological disruption in those who follow them as much as for those who impose them on others. For the followers, there is a lack of maturity, and for the leaders, there is mental inflexibility, one-sidedness and insufficient self-criticism. When the following essences and combinations, we can try to counter the tendency towards dogmatism. For people who accept and follow dogmas, use century. Century is used for people who have no life experience or concerns and are used to following others. Dogmas play a major role in providing important order in their lives. For people who feel guilty when they rebel against authority, use pine. Dogmas demand our unconditional surrender and are generally linked with some sort of punishment for those who don't follow the rules. Pine diminishes the compulsion to be responsible for others. For people who practice dogmas, use rock water. Rock water frees us from an inner pressure to discipline ourselves with rules and dogmas. It allows us to live according to our own needs rather than following theoretical attitudes or ideals. For obstinate, closed-mind people,
who take their own opinions and ideas for the last word on any topic, and who impose these ideas on others, use Vine. Vine helps people to become more flexible, tolerant, and pragmatic. Domestic Tyrant For domestic tyrants who bully their relatives with their own inflexible, intolerant ideas and belief, believe themselves to be infallible role models, they should take Vine. The Doting Mother when a mother worries too much about her child, she only makes the child more dependent and becomes the dominant person in the child's life. The mother's strength causes weakness in her child. In such instances, use chicory. Drive, the lack of. Weakness. When a lack of drive is evident after a stress or strain, it generally signals the beginning of the parasympathetic healing phase which should not be disrupted by trying to force yourself out of it by using things like stimulants. Long-lasting bouts of listlessness, on the other hand, signal some kind of damage. When there's a lack of drive due to a lack of self-confidence, use larch. When there's a lack of drive with depression, use mustard. When there's a lack of drive due to exhaustion, use olive. When there's a general lack of drive, use wild rose. Drug abuse. Drugs can elicit unusual states of mind and illusions. People abuse them when they are unable to cope or are dissatisfied with life. Alcohol and psychopharmaceuticals are drugs in this sense, when we find life unbearable without them. When drugs are abused due to the need to compensate for urgent inner needs, use agrimony. Agrimony helps us give full expression to personal problems. People who cannot do so are often plagued by inner torment and try to lessen the effects by taking drugs, especially alcohol. Alcohol helps us displace our problems and see the world through rose-colored glasses. When drugs are abused and there are flights into fantasy, use clematis. Clematis works against the temptation to replace sobering reality with pleasant fantasies, often with the help of drugs. When drugs are abused in order to make life bearable, use Star of Bethlehem. Star of Bethlehem helps us endure difficult circumstances or terrible experiences that we might otherwise try to suppress or gloss over with the help of drugs or alcohol. It can be combined with agrimony. I have several, I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.